Good morning, brothers and sisters. It's uh, Paul here. I hope all is well. I hope you're enjoying a good cup of coffee. Where I live, we're about to have a huge storm, so here we go again. Fake spring number one under the belt. <laughs> all right, so <clears throat> I want to speak to all of you about something the Lord's just shown me. And what it is is that... Uh, with spring coming, it kind of, I mean, at least where I live in Canada, we have some pretty heavy snowfall and we have some pretty heavy um, winter weather, very cold. So when our spring comes around, we're pretty excited. And you start thinking in the flesh. You start thinking about when you're going to go to the lake, holidays, you know, going to the cabin, all the things that you, you do. So God showed me a dream this morning, just now before I woke up. And I was, I didn't ask for this. I didn't, I didn't go to bed with anything on my mind other than maybe I was repenting about being in the flesh lately. Like I, because of the work environment where I work, there's a lot of inner fighting and stuff. So you tend to get caught up in the gossip rings and stuff. So I went to bed with that and a few other things on my mind and I went to bed. So the dream that woke me up was, there was more than one, but the last one really spoke to what I'm going to say. So um, I saw a piece of property that I bought and me and my wife walked in and it was everything that I wanted. I've always wanted a log cabin and by the water and it was a checklist of everything that I wanted and the green pastures and, you know, I was hosting uh, some friends over and it was just, it was like how I visualized my perfect uh, piece of property, you know, and the dream ended with me seeing my wife in this palace of my desires, and she wasn't happy. So I woke up at exactly 9.40. So when I looked up that time with the Greeks concordance, it uh, put me straight to Galatians 3.1. And let me read this. <clears throat> oh foolish Galatians, who was bewitched with you that you should not obey the truth. Before who, and I'll read a little bit more, and before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified. The only I want to learn from you, did you receive the spirit by the works of the law or by hearing the faith or are you foolish? And it was actually um, th uh, number three, three, three was the one. Are you so foolish having begun in the spirit are you now being made perfect by the flesh? So I went, I got up and I went to the shower and I was talking to God in the shower. And it was clear as day. The Holy Spirit just said, look, right now, because of uh, circumstances around the world, wherever you live, everybody's going through something different. Are you looking for your salvation in the spirit or in the flesh? So I took it as God. Oh, and I forgot to say that I woke up at 5.40. And when I looked that one up, it was telling me to trust in God. So I'm just asking you guys, what are you doing? Are you looking up? Are you waiting? Or are you looking for the, this new season that's going to answer all your prayers? You know, <clears throat> think about what I'm saying. 